Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Travis. We're going to give you part 5 of this HTML5 CSS tutorial. And um, just kind of go over our progress here. Uh, this is our website that we did. And this is the final product. So obviously we're getting very close. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue on and styling this the way we want to. Alright, so I'm in my styles at CSS, um, CSS document here. And we left off at the paragraph tag here. We got a few other things we need to do though. Let's see. We'll go ahead and finish the center off. Let's do that by me uh, little thing that I got there. Which, by the way, I could do a lot better. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just go ahead and stick with what we had. So section. Member, number, center, again. And I named it, it was a div. And it was a class by me, that's why I'm using the period, that's what I named it, open close curly brace, and we're going to make it float to the right, that's the first thing, we'll give it a width of 35%, give it a height of, I don't know, 45 pixels, margin of 15 pixels all around, uh, now, here, the clear, this is interesting. I want to clear both. Um, if I don't put the clear on here, it's, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it off for, for a second just to show you what would happen. Font, family, Arial. Actually, I think you have to use a capital A for Arial. Font size. We'll go with, I don't know, 18 pixels. Doesn't matter. I really don't care. All right, border. Do an RGB value again. Uh, let's go with uh, one pixel solid, and whatever RGB value is going to be two two one two two one. Yeah, two two one. Uh, I don't know why it's giving an error there. That's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and cut this real quick. I don't know why it's giving me an error. It doesn't make sense. Oh, that's why. Never mind. I've didn't put that in the space. It was weird. <laughs> okay, and let's see. I'm going to give it a background color of yellow. We're going to hit save. Now remember, I purposely left off my clear margin on there, so it's probably going to look kind of screwy. So let's go ahead. And um, the thing that I'm doing, where's it at? Oh, it's on here somewhere. But basically, I'm putting that by me over here. Hit reload. There it is, by this product. And obviously, you see, the reason why it's over here um, is simply because I didn't clear the margins. That's why it's really important to clear the margins. Not only have I got to clear the left margin, but I also got to clear uh, the right margin as well in order for it to stick it directly under here. So that's why clearing margins is very important. So clear both should fix that problem. And we reload it, and sure enough it does. Uh, still needs some work though, obviously. Uh, if you look at our final product, you know, it's centered inside here, and it's red, and plus you can hover over and change its color. So we obviously need to go ahead and change that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to change the paragraph tag that's inside it. I'm going to give it a margin left of 16 pixels. Uh, we'll give it... Margin right will be auto. Margin top. This is just estimations to make it look like it's in the center. 
10 pixels, and margin bottom, 10 pixels. And color red. And of course, we could do the, uh, uh, the hovering and the uh, A tag with it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and copy. And we're doing the A tag inside it. I think use, I think I used, still use red. And let's see, let's see in the hovering. Oh no, I want text decoration none because I don't want that underline there. That's what I was trying to remember. Some of the stuff I should have wrote down. And lastly, I want to go ahead and copy this one more time, and I want to place a hover. So when I hover over it. It changes a different color. And we can make the color, I don't know, let's make it uh, teal or something. I don't even know if it teal is recognized, but we'll find out. I'm going to hit reload. Is it turn yellow in the background by this product. And notice the, uh, it's centered. I hover over it, it turns teal. Oh, teal is, is recognized. I couldn't remember if it was. So that's really simple how you do that. And of course, what you would do in your HTML file is the link that you would put in here would be like your Amazon account. Or not your Amazon account, but your Amazon affiliate link or your Tiger Direct affiliate link or what have you. Uh, so you can make money off of it. Um, if I was actually making a real website like this, though, what I'd probably do instead, instead of a background color yellow, uh, if, if I was trying to monetize big money off a site like this, I would probably use the Amazon logo in the back here. Uh, and then I would put my affiliate link for my Amazon.com uh, account, uh, affiliate program, whatever. Uh, that way it goes directly there. They can purchase it directly off Amazon, and I reap part of the commission for it. So that's probably what I would normally do. But for the sake of this tutorial, um, that's how you'd have a byproduct thing on there. Uh, let's see. We're getting really close here to the final. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue on, I suppose, with... Uh, some more stuff in the center, and then I guess we'll kind of move on to the left or right uh, blocks here. Okay. Um, we'll go with a uh, section. Number center and I'm going to target that H2 that's in there but not just any H2 the very first one if you guys remember I named it per head and the only reason why I'm targeting that one is so there's some space uh, and I'm going to give it a margin top of uh, 40 pixels so if I were to save this uh, it just gives me some space. If you if I reload it, notice it moves it down here. That's the only reason why I did that. Also, I kind of notice a problem here. You notice how part of this is not inside the uh, sp uh, specifications of this uh, section here. Well, that's because I, on accident, I made my uh, YouTube video bigger than what it's supposed to be. Um, so I need to go ahead and probably fix that inside my html so let's go ahead and look for that uh, I'm trying to think where did I put there it is um, so I got it here's the problem the width is too too big so I'm put 200 on there hit save go back to my styles by the way and I'm gonna go reload this and that should fix that problem uh, no it doesn't um, Maybe 250 was fine. I just need to put height on here. Two twenty. Save. I probably need to. Uh, I know what I need to do. I need to uh, take this feature tutorial. I need to move it. I need to take the margins and move it to the left. 
is probably what I need to do. Reload. Yeah, I, either that or it's just the way the video came out. But what I, uh, yeah, it's probably just the way the video came out, so I guess that's fine. Uh, let's see, what's up, what's up next here? I, mean, I really can't help that because it's not my video, so. Uh, let's see, we did that. Oh, let's see, go look at my notes here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start on the left-hand side. Why not? So back to our style sheet. And we're going to go section number left. And let's do the nav.vertical h1 tag. We'll do that first. Um, just to kind of show you what we're targeting, we are targeting this right here. Well, as well as this. Okay, since it's a class, we're targeting both of them. Let's give it a font size of 14 pixels. Why not? Text align, make it center. Uh, width, we'll make it 85%. Let's see. Uh, color white, only because I'm going to give it a background color. And a background color, RGB, I got to look at my notes on this one, 22170, and 167, okay. Let's see how that turned out. Let's save. And it should, it should put this, have a background color to it. And it should change this to white. Let's see if it does. And sure enough, it does. So we're getting further, further along. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and, and focus on this. And it really doesn't matter where you place these. I'm just trying to place everything where it makes sense. All my centers, all my left rules, all my right rules in one spot. But certainly, I could put footer stuff here if I wanted to. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll go with section number left and continue on with nav.vertical. Uh, this time we're going to be focusing on the, the list item. You don't actually need that UL in there, by the way. Yeah, let's see, we'll font size. 12 pixels line height we'll make it 2 why not margin we'll go 5 pixels 0 pixels 5 pixels 20 pixels that's the short way of doing left was it left top right bottom it's the short way of doing it Go ahead and reload. And it moved the name down exactly the way I wanted it. So we're getting pretty close to our final product here. Obviously, you just need to change the... Uh, uh, just got to change the color there. Or I could just leave it blue. I mean, I don't know. Actually, blue looks pretty good. So I might just keep it the way it is. But I could show you how you would change the color. section number left nav dot vertical anchor tag and then you can just do color I don't know make it uh, well let's go dark blue let's save doesn't have to look exactly like my final product does reload and it changed the color to a darkish more of a darker blue so that's how you do that. And so we're done with uh, the left side. We're done with the middle. Only thing we need to do now is the right side and the footer. So um, we finished the center, we finished the left. Um, one guy dropped a comment saying that I probably should make my video shorter. So I'm going to cut it here. On the next part of the tutorial, 
I'm going to focus on this right hand side, which is not much at all. It's very little left we got to do. And I'm going to style these uh, add blocks to where they're supposed to be, as well as the footer. Uh, and then on the next part is where I'll finish up with some JavaScript. So, all the guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial. This is Travis signing out.